Peggy's good morning. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Yeah. So let us start session. Yes, today topic group. Java installation. Next step. Yes, environment. Environment variables. Setup. Setup and then next steps to develop Java application. Step to develop Java application. So this is today topic. First Java installation. Next new run variable setup. Next Eclipse setup. Steps to develop Java application. So this topic today we'll discuss. First of all, Java installation. Java installation. Java installation. See, in my system Java is already existed. Java C, yes, it's working. Means in my system Java already working. Means already installed. Yes. Let us remove that existing setup. Existing setup. Yes, how to remove that existing setup? Apps in this. Yes, install. Install. Yes, previous one still running. Which previous one still installing? Yes, uninstall. Now it's uninstalling. Yes, done. Uninstalled. Next, we have to remove variables also. This PC properties. Advanced system settings, inner variables, Java code, delete path, edit, Java code, delete, okay, okay. Yes, come to Java cleaned. Now let us check it. Go to command prompt, at the command prompt, click for Java C. Yes, Java C is not recognized internal or external commands java c 
is not recognized internal or external commands. It means Java is not for start installation. Java installation. First, let us start with JDK. JDK 1.8. First, we'll start with JDK 1.8. Okay. Yes, download. Download JDK 1.8. Yes. From your Google Drive. Yes, already share it your Google Drive. Yes, how to access, how to download? Let me show that. Download JDK 1.8 from your Google Drive. Download. Don't download JDK 1.8 from your Google Drive. How to download? Let me show that. Yes. First of all, let me show the drive. Yes, MN of course, I will say drive. In this drive, JDK 8 is available. So next, Eclipse available. Yes, your class document available. Next, others. Complete material is available. Complete all this material is available. Okay. So complete material is available. Now this is yes, software and documents. Software documents complete that material. Share. I am sharing this on Gmail ID. Yes, this is. So to at gmail.com. Yes, I am sharing to this gmail.com. Sharing like this. Are you also shared same here? Like this. Are you also shared? So this is that is material. Material and software. Documents and software. Documents of where next recordings. Yes, recordings. Right. Yeah, recordings. See, I'm in the course of 11.30 m. So this is recording stream. Recording stream. Yes. Yes, share the same same Gmail like this. So this is recording strike. So this is yesterday recording. Till yesterday recording. All recordings shared to your Google Drive. Yes, shared like this. Yes, now how to access these things from your Google Drive? From your Google Drive. First of all, login. Login. Yes, login. Yes, login into that account here. Login into your accounts. Login into your Gmail like this. Login. Next. Transfer login. After login to your Gmail ID, just login to your Gmail accounts. Login into your Gmail accounts. After login, here there is a Google Apps option. Yes, can you see this case? Google Apps option. In Google Apps, there is a drive option. Can you see the drive? Yes, Google Apps and drive. Here is a drive option. Here is a drive. Okay, drive. Okay, yes. Open the drive. Open the drive. Open drive. Open drive. Half opening drive here. See here. Not this one. Sorry, sir. Half opening the sorry. Shade. Yes. One second. Google Apps. From this, open this drive. Open the drive. After opening drive here, they say. Shared with me option. Shared with me option. Open drive. Shared with me option. Shared with me. Here you can see M and drive course of 11:30 a.m. October. So this is for drives. All drive. Yes, recordings. This drive is for recordings. Okay, repeating once again. Yes. First login. Yes. Go to here Google Apps. Right side. This is Google Apps option. Google Apps. Google Apps needs drive option. Open drive. Just open the drive. Open the drive. Open the drive. Yes, open the drive. Here they shared with me. Okay. First open drive. Yes, open that Google Drive. Here they shared with me after shared with me. Shared with me. They say shared with me. Shared with me. Yes, shared with me. You can see here you can see MN Rock for Java, right? MN Rock for Java. MN Rock for Java. Yes, here all documents are available. All documents, software is available. All documents and software available. 
progress. So from this, right click on JDK, download. Yes, here doing con to scan virus, scan con scan file for virus is right. Download anyway. Select this. Once you select it, what happens you to download and scanning your system? Yes, in your system, there is a scanner. Windows 10, definitely default scanner getting. That will scan. So Windows 10 and 11, yes. Need not install scanner. Yes, by default getting. It is getting by default. Eclipse. Yes, download. Download Eclipse. Download anywhere. Download anywhere. So once you're getting that option, download anyway. Yes, click on download anyway. Yes, next document. Yes, download. Right? Yes, like this here. Download all this. So download all this. Next. Yes, share it with me. Here this is a recordings folder. MN drive course 1130 m So this folder here you can see all recordings. From the recordings, right click. Yes, here this is a open with yes, video player for Google Drive. Yes, from this you can watch it. Open with so video player for Google Drive or YouTube loader. Yes, whatever you want. Okay, you can use that. Okay, so open with them. from that you can watch the recording. Okay, but don't do other options here. Don't do other options here. Open with them. yes, video player. That's, that's it. Okay, so recordings. So this is recordings. Recordings. Okay. So you can share with me, select share with me, and share with me, share with me, you can see MN drive course have one folder, MN drive course have for, for all the documents and material here, and software next MN drive course 1130. So for recordings, I hope you understand everyone. Okay, after login, go to Google Apps, next there is a drive, open drive, open drive, after opening drive, share with me, share with me. Next, one more thing here, better you go for this. Here, there's a grid option, list option, right? Yes, list layout, convert in list layout. You can see very clearly. Suppose MN drive course Java, MN drive course Java, open this. See, in your system, you can see like this, this format. Some grid layout, is a grid layout. Yes, here there's a, yes, list layout, list layout, list layout. List layout, you can see all clearly, list layout. You can see all very clearly. Go for list layout, not grid. Yes, default is grid. Go for list layout. You can see very clearly. Go for list layout. It's a list layout. So it's a list. So grid layout and list layout. Here yeah, this is now converting list here. List list layout. You can see like this. You can see like this. So once you converting list layout, you can see everything clearly. You can see all very clearly. You can see all very clearly. Okay. Yeah. So this is about this, done. <coughs> now, let us start. Download JDK 1.8 from Google Drive. Okay, so next step, copy, copy, copy JDK, JDK 1.8, JDK 1.8 into, yes, into C drive, into C drive, C drive, into C drive. Copy JDK 1.8. Copy JDK 1.8 into C drive. Copy JDK 1.8 into C drive. Copy this. Yes. Go to downloads folder. Here it's all right. Downloads folder all are available. Downloads folder all are available. Available here. Okay. Yes. JDK course our documents and list folder. Yes. Copy. Here from this copy. Copy JDK. Okay. Yes, copy all this. Just to copy all this. Copy these three. Copy and paste in the C drive. Yes, right click, paste here. That's it. Right click, paste. So copy in the C drive. Yes, here JDK8. Here it's available, right? JDK8. So copy JDK 1.8 into C drive. So JDK8 into C drive. JDK8 into C drive. Yes, after that, what is next? After copying C drive, next step is. Just double click. Double click. After double click, next you can see yes option. Yes option, next after that, next option. Yes after that, next option. Okay, next finally close option. You can see like this. One second. Yes, in document already prepared. All these steps. 
is the installation. This installation steps. See Java installation. Installing Java. Copy JDK 1.8 in C drive. Double click on it. Copy JDK 1.8 in C drive. Double click on it. Double click next. Yes. Next. Next close. Same thing. It's prepared in document here. You can follow document here. In document installation steps available. Document you can follow document as well. Recording also. Recording also available. Two things are available. Right? Recording is available. And uh, yes, in document also available. Two things available. You can follow these things here. By following this, issue, you can set up. Still facing issue. Just you can ping me. Yes, you can ping me. I'll help you. Okay. Yes. Still facing issue. Just you can. Just if you you when you can you can ping me. Yes, ping me in my WhatsApp. Ping me in WhatsApp. Yes. Just you ping me in my WhatsApp. Yes, I'll, I'll explain you. Okay. Yes. Now let us start. Double click. Double click. On. Yes. Now yes here. Yes option. After yes, see this. Yes, welcome to installation wizard of Java SE Development Kit. So that SE Development Kit, right? SE Development Kit. So eight. It's eight. JSC, JSC 8, right? JSC 8, 8, now 8 installing. So click on next, click on next. Now see this, install to this location. C drive program file, Java folder, JDK 1.8. C drive program files, C drive. In C drive, they say program files, program files. See that C drive program files, C drive program files, C drive program files. Yes, after that, Java folder, here Java folder. Java folder here. Don't have Java folder, right? Don't have Java folder. Means it will create new folder now. Don't have Java folder. It will create new folder now. It will create a folder. So click on next. Now see this. Yes, it's creating Java folder. See, create it. 11:54 a.m. 26:10. Today 26. 26th October. 11:54 a.m. Just now create it. Right, okay. Yes, next GRE. One second. Let me open Java folder open. See JDK. JDK extracted, right? JDK extracted. JDK extracted now GRE. Now it's extracting GRE. So click on next again. Simply get double click. Next. Double click. Yes. Next. Next. Close. Finally. Okay. First double click. Next S yes, option. You can see. Next. Next. Yes. Two times next, next finally close option. Yes, installing Java. Right, see, successfully installed. Successfully installed. Close. Close, right, successfully installed. That's it here. So these are the steps here. Okay, copy JDK 1.8 C drive. Copy JDK 1.8 C drive. Double click on it. Next say yes. Double click. Next say yes. Say yes. Next. Next say next. Next. Finally close after that's it over. JDK installation completed. Okay. Yes, JDK installation completed. Next environment variable setup. Environment variable setup. Environment variable setup. Environment variables. Okay. Yes, this first one Java home. Java underscore home. First one Java underscore home. Second one path. So these these two variables here are set up. So environment variable setup. So first one Java home. Next is path. Java home and path. Java one path here. How to set set up these variables here? Yes. So right click on this PC. Properties. Properties. Right click on this PC. Properties. After properties here, this is a advanced system settings. Advanced system settings. Advanced. Advanced system settings. Next invent variables. See here. Right click on this PC icon. 
yes windows 10 windows 10 windows 10 right click on this pc icon select properties next select advanced system settings right click on this pc icon next select properties advanced system settings yes very clearly prepared in documents here see this i'm repeating once again yes right click on this pc this pc suppose in, in your desktop is not available yes here are available yeah this pc available from this also okay right click on this pc then properties anyone is okay properties same window you can see here same window okay so you can right click here this pc here it's available okay right click on this piece next properties or else on desktop also this pc shortcut available already shortcut this pc will be here so right click on properties right click on this pc properties after properties next what advanced system settings here there is a advanced advanced system settings okay it is here right click on this pc select properties next select advanced system settings advanced system settings here see things advanced system settings after that next here see invert variables next invert variables invert variables next here go to system variables use system variables yes same thing it's there here invert variables go to system variables go to system variables yes yes system variables system variables in system variable there is a new new option system variables in this new option new 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 yes in this new option java underscore home java underscore home java underscore home next value java underscore home next value so what's a value value is java location variable limit java underscore home yes value value yes the jdk location yes where jdk install c drive c drive yes in c drive program files in program files java folder yes next jdk folder here installed yes here place the voice point at the end and click here complete path selected suppose if you if you click here c drive opens program files java folder jdk 1.8 yes don't click here at the end at the end place the mouse pointer and click here yes that getting a complete path copy this path take this path copy this path take this path and paste here take this path and paste here so click on ok so java home is done next path java home completed so java home so this java home is equal to so this java home match done next path path see path in this edit edit the path edit 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 the path edit the path right yes edit the path no new yes new java path see here oracle path yes here available means oracle software installed oracle path added next here scala installed scala path added python installed python path added putty for linux purpose installed added next catalina home tomcat tomcat so tomcat tomcat is the tomcat like this here any software installed that path should be added here any software installed any software installed that path should be added that path should be added now adding java path right see like like oracle data this is oracle database path like oracle database path yes next scala path final python path putty yes like this now java path new new percentage percentage java underscore home java underscore home yes percentage percentage backslash bin backslash bin that's it here click on okay then okay okay done so path so this is path value this is a path value path value so what does it mean yes path value so completely path value becomes like this one second so complete yes this is java bin java bin okay so this is java home value this is java home value java home value so in place of this will replace finally path becomes like this finally path becomes like this c drive program file java jdk 1.0 bin right finally path becomes like this finally path becomes like this 
Okay. Yes. Yeah, this bin location, all Java comments have been actually here. So this is invert variable setup done. Yes, I'm repeating once again. Repeating once again. Repeating once again. See. So first installing Java. Yes. So jerry copy this is over invert variables windows 10 right click on this pc select properties see right click on this pc select properties yes after the, what is next option as per documents select advanced system settings select advanced system settings. so this is advanced system settings advanced system settings okay select it yes next advanced system settings yes after that next Invalid variables. Next invalid variables, right? Environment variables. Invalid variables. After invalid variables, so next step. Yes. Now go to system variables. Yes. Go to system variables. System variables. Means this here. There is a new option. System variables. System variables. Here is a new option. New option. New option, right? Yes. In this now. Yes. Java form. See that. New option. Here is a Java home, variable name Java home and value. Variable name and value. Variable name and value. Variable name and value. Variable name and value. H get Java home. So Java, yes, uppercase. You must use uppercase. Java underscore home. So value. What's a value? The JDK location. JDK location. C drive. Program files. In program Java folder. JDK 1.8. Here install so copy this take this part copy this part copy this part and paste here right so click on okay then done java home is done java home is completed okay java home java home and its value right yes java home is equal to and its value right yes completed java home and its value okay right yes next setting path yes go to system variables select a path variable edit system variables path already system with path already existing here this edit select a path the next edit 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 so click on new click on new click on new after click on new yes next java home person is java home person backslash pin then click on okay finally say okay 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 done okay right yes you can yes now path variable edit edit in this new new after new yes add this after select click on new then add this click on new, add this so click on okay 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 done completed completed yeah this is linux setup you have the topic later we'll discuss linux linux later we'll see yes after installation now yes checking for java installation and version here Taking for Java installation version, go to command prompt. Command prompt. See here it's a black screen means it's a command prompt. It's a command prompt. At the command prompt, first write Java C. Yes, it's working. Java C is working with Java installed. Next, which version of Java installed? Java iPhone version. Java iPhone version. See this JDK 1.8, right? Java 1.8. So Java SE. Yes, SE 1.8 installed, right? That's it. So this is or yes, so this is completed. So second step also completed. Next third step, eclipse setup. Eclipse setup. Eclipse setup. Eclipse. Okay. So what is eclipse? Eclipse is an ID. Eclipse is an is an ID. Eclipse is an ID here. ID stands for integrated. Yes, integrated. Integrated development environment environment integrated development environment. Okay, ID stands for integrated development environment. Integration means linking. ID stands for integrated development environment. Yes, integrated integrated development environment. ID stands for integrated development environment. Integrated integrated means linking means. So complete Java software integrated with this ID. Okay, one second. So for this is C language ID.
C language ID. C software, C compiler already linked with this. So this is C language ID. C language ID. Like this, there are IDs, development environments to develop the projects, development environments. Okay. Now Eclipse. Yes. So here download Eclipse. Same download Eclipse. Download Eclipse from your Google Drive. From your Google Drive. Yes, already shared, right? From your Google Drive. Eclipse are shared. Yes, copy into next step is copy into copy into C drive. Copy into C drive. Yes, copy into C drive. Okay. Copy into C drive. So copy into C drive. So Eclipse copy into C drive. Eclipse C downloads. Downloads for here this Eclipse, right? Yes. Copy. Copy and paste into C drive. Copy and paste here. Paste here. That's here. So once pasted, you can see here like this Eclipse J E N E N T Eclipse. See Eclipse and JDK. What's the difference here? JDK its application means installer. Yes, we have to double click next. Yes, next, 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 next. Close. We have to install this. Is. It's an installer. It's an installer. It's an installer. Yes, when come to yes, this is a Eclipse. It's not an installer. Eclipse is not an installer. One second. Eclipse is not installed. Yes, this is not installed. This is zip file, zip archive. Zip means we have to extract it. It's a zip file. The zip file you have to extract. It's a zip. The zip you have to extract it. Right click, right click. Next here. Yes, here this extract here option. Right click and extract here option. Right click extract here. Okay. Right click on Eclipse icon. Yes, this Eclipse file. That Eclipse zip file. It's a zip archive. Zip archive means you have to uninstall. Sorry, you have to extract. You have to extract. Extract here. This extract. Say yes. Now extracting. One second. One second. Yes. One second. One second. Eclipse folder already installed. That's the reason showing. Eclipse folder already. Let me delete that old folder. That existing Eclipse deleting. Delete it. Now right click on Eclipse. Yes, extract here. Right click on Eclipse, extract here. Say yes. Say yes. Now it's extracting. It's extracting. It is extracting. Yes, extract, right? See that? It is Eclipse folder. Okay, refresh. Refreshed. Here it's Eclipse folder, right? Refresh. Okay, Eclipse folder. Right, we got the Eclipse folder. Okay, now open that Eclipse folder here, this Eclipse icon. Eclipse icon. Right click. Now send to desktop. Send to desktop. Create shortcut. That will create shortcut on desktop. Go to desktop, here yes, shortcut. One second, let me delete old shortcuts. These are old shortcuts. Refresh. Start the name. Yes. Yes, Eclipse. Simple. Right click on Eclipse GIF file. Here, this is extract here option. Right click extract here. Extract here. So that will extract Eclipse folder. So generating Eclipse folder. Open that folder. Yes, in this folder, you can see. Eclipse icon. Here is icon. That Eclipse application. So right click on Eclipse icon here. Next, send to desktop. Send to desktop. Yes, now go to desktop here. Let's see Eclipse shortcut, right? Where you can see Eclipse shortcuts. Okay. Yes, same thing explained in document here. See what? Yes, Eclipse shortcut. Eclipse shortcut. Yes, take Eclipse GIF archive file and paste into C drive. Yes, Eclipse GIF archive file. Place in the C drive. Right click and extract here. Right click, extract here. Right click and select extract here. Right click and select extract here. After extracting, now open the Eclipse folder. Right click on Eclipse icon. Send to desktop. 
So create shortcut on desktop for Eclipse. Create it. Okay. Yes, working with Eclipse. Eclipse and IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. The Java compiler, JRE, GOMEM, all are integrated with Eclipse automatically. Automatically. So because of path variables. Okay. Yes. Next. So this is Eclipse setup is over. Simple. See here. Eclipse. Simple. Copy into C drive. Next word. Extract. Extract. Okay. After extracting. Yes. Create shortcuts. Okay. After extracting. Open. Open Eclipse folder. Open Eclipse folder. Eclipse folder. Yes. And create shortcuts. Create shortcuts. Create shortcuts. One desktop. One desktop. One desktop. One desktop. Okay. Open Eclipse folder. Open Eclipse folder and create shortcuts. Just create shortcut on desktop. Yes, create it. Shortcut create on desktop. Okay. Just then complete it. Okay. So next <clears throat> steps to develop Java application. Steps to develop Java application. So steps. So first step. Create workspace. Create workspace. First step is create workspace. So next step is yes. Create project. Create project. Yes, next step is create a yes. Create package. Yes, next create a class. Create a class. Next create method finally. Create methods. See, even five steps are also simple steps. Yes, matter of 10 minutes, all these steps. See, first bar, you see, project hierarchy is like this. First workspace. Inside of the workspace, there is a project. Inside the workspace, here there is a project. Project. So inside the project, inside the project, here there is a package. There is a package. Package. Yes, inside the package, inside the package, here there is a class. Yes, inside the class, methods. Methods. So first one top of this workspace, inside the workspace products, inside the product package, inside the package class, yes, inside the class workspace, projects, package, class, and other lines. So this is hierarchy. Okay, yes, in document also I have prepared same thing. Workspace, project, package, class, and methods. See that project hierarchy. Workspace. Under that project, under that package, next class, next methods. So first one workspace. Step one workspace. Step one workspace. Workspace. Go to desktop. Okay, lower him. Double click on Eclipse icon, launch it here. So creating workspace. So step. Create workspace. Create workspace. So creating workspace. Yes, go to desktop. And desktop is Eclipse right? Eclipse shortcut. Double click and launch it. Double click launch it here. Double click and launch. Yes, launch Eclipse launch it, right? Eclipse launch it. Yes, here location. C drive uses M and right? It's location, right? But don't use this location. Change location. Don't use this. Change this location. Just how to change location for this browse option. Yes, browse to where? Yes, for this. Yes, here D drive or C drive. Any drive we can take it. D drive or C drive. So, but D drive. D drive. In D drive, create a folder with your name here. Okay, create a folder with your name. Okay. D drive. Yes, create it for one second. Yes, so right click here. Once again. Yes, right click. 
new folder yes with your name for example who is this name okay bindu yes bindu folder with your name folder get it yes if it yes here folder get it in d drive create a folder just open this empty folder d drive some bindu folder get it so just create a folder with your name it's very simple create a right click new folder option select folder option yes here with your name creating folder next open that open now it's just same thing yes browse to see in that location browse to d drive and bindu so browse here is a browse option browse 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 yes here yes this pc this pc in this pc next d drive is there this pc there is a d drive open d drive open d drive d drive in this here is a pin right bindu yes click on okay so d drive bindu right next backslash 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 yes after this now workspace name suppose workspace name is suppose let us say test ws ws means workspace test ws test ws okay so location location is that d drive and bindu so these are located these are folder right location next workspace name also you have to this way this by the workspace name so click on okay yes now creating that work yes just ws ws means workspace ws means workspace ws means workspace it's creating workspace folder yes creating still it's here. creating yes inside this something that is happening here yes after that open eclipse of launch it right launch it is a welcome screen close welcome close welcome screen okay so here yes so go to desktop double click on eclipse icon then launch eclipse next select workspace location just browse to that location provide name like a d drive test sample ws okay sample ws is a workspace name yes close below screen close below welcome screen below welcome screen close it here close that welcome screen close right <clears throat> welcome screen after closing welcome screen yes here welcome close here this is close close welcome screen after closing next step is what is yes, project second step second step create a project second step create a project second step create a project create a project how to create project here so create a workspace next create a project how to create a project here see right click on project explorer right click on project explorer new here this is a project okay right click on project explorer new projects select java projects next click on next click on next project name is test project name test okay see execution event 1.8 right yes automatically got it how how 1.8 got it reason java home variable yes already we had different java home equal to so at the time of launching eclipse at the time of launching Eclipse, Eclipse looking for Java Home in system. Yes, available. Yes, Java Home is set to this location, right? Now Eclipse simply go to this location, JDK 1.8, this location. Okay, Eclipse go to that location, C drive. Yes, program files, Java folder. Yes, yes, JDK 1.8, yes, JDK 8, this is. Yes, go to that location, picking all these softwares and integrate with this. So at the time of starting Eclipse, Eclipse go to Java home location. From that location, picking Java software and linking with this. So project name is test. Okay, right? now finish. Finish. Say yes. Right? Say yes. Complete it. Right? So project created. No expand it. Yes, expand it. Here this yes sir. Yes sir. Same in source. Yes sir. Same in source. Yes, sir, same source. Okay. So here this is so so create project complete. Next create a package. Next step is create 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 a package. Yes, create a package. Now create a package. So create a package. 
create a package create a package okay yes one second documents creating projects so right click and project explorer area new projects dot series right click new projects new projects here this is java project option select java project next click on next yes project name test yes 1.8 right getting order so click on finish next creating package yes create a package create a package expand projects right click on assess a new package name so right click on assess new package yes sir see just expand your projects yes expand projects you can select this here right click on src src new they say package option package option new package option yes how to choose package name how to choose package name yes package name package name should be should be in lower case package name should be in lower case alphabets alphabet package name should be lower case alphabets under and should start start with the Start with either com or org. Com or org. So package name. Package name should be in lowercase alphabet. Package name. Package name should be in lowercase alphabet. Package name. Package name should be in lowercase alphabet. Should start with com or org. Yes. Com dot or org dot. Okay. Yes. Com dot. First. Plain name. Okay, next dot the project name. Project name. Okay, so client first client name. Next project name dot. Yes, next. Yes, module. 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 Yes, com dot client dot project dot module. Okay. Yes, watch dot client dot project dot module. Yes, comments company. Words means organization. Com means company. Words means organization. Company. Yes, what's a company organization? What's the difference? Anyone can tell me, guys. Company and organization difference. Company can be simple organization. organization. Combination of many companies. Okay, and next, any others? See, organization company. See here, many companies that is called a group. So Tata group, Reliance group, LG group, that is group. Okay. Here, company, organization, difference here. Company means profit based. Company is a profit based. Organization non profit based company profit based organization non profit based me company all are employees in organization all are volunteers all volunteers working for volunteers no salaries they will not take any salary volunteer means free of cost they will work on their own they will work that company and organization for example ngo organization right ngo organization yes no employees in that Yes, com company, it's all our employees and profit based. Organization, no volunteers, all are sorry, no no employees, all are volunteers. Organization, no employees, all volunteers, free of service based. Okay, so difference here. For example, here, for example, for example, com dot suppose doesn't my client is Volkswagen, Volkswagen. In develop, yes, Volkswagen. Yes, with this company, yes, with this client, recent project completed. So, with Volkswagen client, yes, payroll company different, working client is different. Payroll client is different, working company different. Yeah, working client is different. Payroll company means from which company taking salary. Payroll company, payroll. Okay, yes, and the working client is different. Client means who has given project to. Client is a pro, who has given project. Project name, yes, ERP kind of project we have developed. ERP kind of project developed, yes, modules. Yes, there are many modules. Yes, like purchase module, sales module, shipping module, assembling module. There are different different modules. Sales one module, for example. Yeah. Okay, com dot 
plain name dot project name dot margin. Okay. Yes, now here com com dot com dot. Yes, no client. No, it's a Durga sub, right? Here. So now presently client is Durga sub classes. So com dot Durga dot. Okay. Yes, in place of project, just I'm giving my name. M dot dot test. Test. That's it here. So pack is created. Pack is created. <clears throat> After creating package, what is next? Pack is done. Next, create a class. Next, create a class. Right click and package new class. Last name is let us say test T caps. Last name is to start with uppercase alphabet. It's a rule. Last name is to start with uppercase alphabet. Start with uppercase alphabet. Say finish. Yes, created class created. Yes, let us go document C. New package. Yes, package name. Blurry case. And start with the com dot or watch dot. Okay, yes, see packet com dot to get it. So finish. Next, you create a class. Right click and package new class. Right click and package. Right click and package new class. Right click and package new class. Select class. Last name is test. Okay, right? Yes, test. Class name is test. Right? Next, finish. That's it. Class created. You can see that's third Java. Public class test class created. Now we have to change the font size. Now this we should change the font size. Changing font size. Changing font size. Right click. Right click here. This is a preferences option. Right click preferences. Preferences. General appearance color fonts. I am repeating once again. Right click preferences. Yes, general. Appearance, color fonts. Next here, this Java option, select Java. Yes, editor text here, you can change it. Font says here. Java editor text fonts. Java editor text font, text font. Edit. Click on edit. Click on edit. Okay. Click on edit. Right, okay. Next, select bold. Select bolds. Next, size 18. Yes, if font says font name is okay. Font still is bold. Bold means thick letters. Clear, clear, visibility, clear visibility. Bold. Next 18 size. See, for you guys working purpose, I think 12 or 14 enough. 12 or 14. Depends on your visibility. Either 12 or 12. 12 or 14. Enough. But a class purpose 18 requires. So click on okay. Next apply. See that one separate fonts change. Okay. Now here main methods. Yes, public. Yes, class. Sorry, public starting. White main. Yes, string. String. Yes, obscure back attacks. Starting main method, ending main method. Yes, a class is starting, ending. See, mouse using what double click here. It shows starting, ending. See, starting punch, ending punch. Starting and yes, mean starting ending. Double click and see, double click and see starting ending. Okay, yes, this system at how that then see out right? Yes, one second. Okay, that yes out I'll show you later. Just wait. System dot out that system 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 dot how dot print and print and within double quotation. Yes, it in double position. Hello world. Hello world. Hello world. Yes, at the end semicolon. Every statement should terminate semicolon. Semicolon. Now run this. Run this one. Run this program. Right click. Run as Java application. Yes, right click on this program. Run as Java application. See it. Hello world. Hello world. Right. Hello world. Yes, this this output font also we can change. This output font also we can change. Right click. Yes, preferences, preferences, general, 
appearance color sponge color sponge yes basic here this is a basic in basic text font text font edit edit bold yes 16 okay okay apply then okay that so these are the steps yes all the steps explained of course here so here how to run the java program right click on main method program file yes run as java application yes output comes up changing font size right click on main program file select preferences as below as below see this right click on main preferences select preferences yes general appearance colors and fonts next year open java edit text font next edit edit yes edit from this you can see controls yes bold and size 18 so click on okay then okay next running run as java application right click run as java application that's it complete it yes let me repeat all again here yes exit exit eclipse go to file menu then exit exiting eclipse exit it okay right yes now let us repeat one second first launch eclipse yes so first create workspace right so first workspace workspace so d drive bin right suppose yes all is opening now all the existing clips it's opening now all the existing clips it's opening all the existing clips okay yes one second yes it's opening all the existing workspace it's opening all the existing workspace now change it here suppose if you want to change location change location okay support test test folder yes already created test folder already available yes d drive test so create one test folder like this in d drive create a test folder or with your name create folder yes now select this location yes this is a browse option browse to d drive yes browse this pc yes next d drive d drive in d drive they say test folder test here they say test folder So click on OK. Yes, our test folder. Yes, next. This workspace. Suppose sample, sample WS means workspace. So first path select up to path required path. Then sample WS. Yes, workspace creating, creating launching Eclipse. Yes, Eclipse launched. Next next. yes so what is next step yes workspace completed project now close welcome screen close welcome screen yes after closing welcome screen here yes Close welcome screen. Next, creating project. Back, creating project. New, new project. Project. Select Java project. So click on next. Click on next. Project name is suppose let us say sample. Sample. Project name is sample. SC one point eight. Default selected right. So finish. No say yes. Right. So open project. Next word package. Right click on SRC. Right click on SRC new package. Yes, home dot. Yes, to get dot. Yes, name and dot. Package. So, just a package. 
this one chicken here. But I'm missing one. I'm got a test package. So finish the test package created. After creating test package, next create a class. After package, right click on this create a class, new class, new class. Class name is let us say sample class. Sample class starting with uppercase alphabet. Sample class starting with uppercase alphabet. Yes, right. Now change font size. Right click. Font size. See here, whenever new workspace created, you have to change the font size. When new workspace created, you have to change the font size. Plus fonts. Okay. Say so right click. Yes, in document also I have prepared same thing. References. General appearance, colors and fonts. Colors and fonts. Here, this Java font. Java. Select yes, Java eater text font. Next, edit. Click on it. Next, bold. Next, 18. Okay. Apply then. Okay, done. So, completed class completed, right? So, create a class. Workspace project package class next method. Now, here, main method. See one second. Previously typed system, yes, public static wide main. Is not necessary. Simply just type main main word main word control space bar control space bar here select main. Okay, see repeating once again control space bar open yes select yes type main method yes control space bar hold and control key the space bar. Right, see that main method first one default select main method. Yes. Control space bar. Yes, main method. Enter carriage. Next, system not out at middle. Yes, out. System not out at middle. H. Yes, this. Hello world. Hello world. Hello world. Hello world. Hello world. Right. Right click. Run as some application. See, hello world. Right. Output is hello world. Now this font says also right click. Yes, preferences, references, general appearance, colors and fonts here. So basic, basic font, text font, edit, bold. Yes, 16. Okay, okay. Apply then okay, done. Complete it. Okay. So this is yes, repeating once again all the steps. So first launch eclipse, create workspace. No creates new projects. New Java project or Java project already select here available. You can select this Java projects. Yes, project name. So what test projects? Yes, JSE one point eight. So finish. So create it. Okay, now package. Right click on SRC. New package. Package. Yes, com dot. Yes, Durga dot. Yes, MN route dot some ABC package. ABC package. ABC packets created. ABC packets created. After creating ABC packets, next new class. You should create a class. Class. Yes, class name test. Class name test. So finish. Class name test. Okay. Yes, this main with the type main. Type main control space bar. Type main control space bar. Yes, main with the right. Yes, system start out of return. Yes. Hello world. Hello worlds. Levels save it. Control yes for save. Control yes for save. See this save button. You can use save on this option also. Okay. Control yes for save. Control yes for save. Right click on as Java application levels. Okay. So let us add one more space. Yes, out control space bar. Yes, out control space bar. Yes, welcome. Yes, welcome to welcome to Java world. Welcome to Java world. Welcome to Java world. Welcome to Java world. So right click run as levels. Welcome to Java world. Levels. Welcome to Java world. Level next. Welcome to Java. So these are the steps. I hope everyone you understand this. Yes. Try it. Just to try all the steps here. Okay, try all it. Yes, still facing issue. Yes, you can ping me. You can ping me in WhatsApp. I'll explain. Okay, I'll connect your system. I'll make you set up.
I'll connect your system. I'll make it setup. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's all for today. Yes, any doubts? Yes, sir. By tomorrow class, try to finish a clip setup. Okay, so this is a level program. Right. Next topic about JVM. Yes, tomorrow not JVM. I'm holding this topic. Yes, after finishing first program, we'll discuss about JVM. JVM. So next topic is about data types. Tomorrow topic is about Java data types. Java data types. Yes, started data types. Next programming starts. Okay, yeah. So that's all for today. Any doubts? Still any doubts? Still any doubts? Yes, if no doubts, yes, let us wind up session for today. I think no doubts, right? Yeah. So thank you, guys. Yes, see any doubts? Hello. No, sir. Yeah, yeah try to set up all these things. Yes, follow documentation. Follow documentation as well. Recording with the help of this, you can finish it. You can finish it. Okay, yes. Just let us wind up session for today. Right. Thank you, guys. See you tomorrow.